Dr. Lucy Ann Wachowitz is an astronomer, movement artist, and educator based here in Chicago. They study how outer space serves as the site where humanity crafts its futures and works to make those futures more just, both in space and on Earth. They're currently a full-time student in the Aloft Circus Arts Professional Training Program, where they defy gravity on the daily. They are also a proud and scrappy small business owner of Not Not Rocket Science, providing creative coaching and classes to others trying to forge their own paths. Okay, Lucien, get us started again. What did you see? I met Jody Pendarvis in a dirt parking lot outside a store named E.T. Fresh Jerky. E.T. Fresh Jerky sells, as its name suggests, fresh jerky, but also alien-themed sodas and preserves. If you're feeling thrifty, it's completely free to get bitten by the snakes that live outside under the broken concrete walkway. The snakes are inconveniently located under a mural that adorns the side of E.T. Fresh Jerky, which depicts reptilian aliens and a flying saucer hovering over the Nevada desert. It's a popular Instagram spot for anyone who makes the long drive to Area 51, so there's usually a sandwich board up that says, Danger! Snakes! Jody didn't have to come this far to see a flying saucer. As he told it to be, he was minding his own business in Bowman, South Carolina the night he saw one. Jody is the architect and proprietor of the UFO Welcome Center, a 40-foot wide diameter flying saucer made of scrap metal in Bowman. The night he saw a UFO, the UFO Welcome Center had already been built, and Jody said he'd hoped that any interstellar travelers would find rest with him after their long journey. That's not what happened. Jody said the flying disc came straight down the main street in Bowman, and went to the Days Inn instead. We'd both just come from Storming Area 51, if you can call it that. Storm Area 51, an internet joke started by a bored guy in Inland California, had ballooned into a national security concern after millions of people RSVP'd to rush the United States' most fabled defense research center and liberate any aliens inside. Or at least, clap them alien cheeks. Despite the local government and military being on high alert, there wasn't much storming involved. Mostly, about a hundred people milled around in a dusty lot in the 48-person town of Rachel, Nevada, there to see... Mm, something. For a lot of people, it seemed like it was more about being seen. All the way up into the UFO. All right. <laughs> now, act like you're getting pulled up. Hold your, hold your hands up. Oh. <laughs> okay, come on. <laughs> <laughs> 